Permaculture is a design science. It came out of the early 1970s with a pair of uh, college professors, Bill Mollison and David Holmgren, who were working on the idea of creating a permanent form of agriculture, one where you would do perennial planting, uh, water systems and so forth that would be self-maintaining. The idea being that you would have a lot of inputs in the design process and construction at the very beginning. And then as time went on, the inputs would go down while the yields would continue to rise. This is reverse of traditional Western agriculture or Eastern agriculture, where you have uh, a constant one-to-one -one ratio between inputs and outputs. The more energy and, and materials you put in, the more you get out. With permaculture, the idea is that nature sort of takes over and what you have is a cultivated ecology. And so the human inputs, at least, the labor, the uh, petroleum and so forth, can go down over time. And then uh, yields, because of the integration that nature does of beginning to work systems together and be synergistic, the yields continue to climb. So working with that design science over the course of several years, uh, they began to evolve this notion that it's more than just agriculture. We're actually talking here about permanent culture. And that what applies to food production can also be applied to the built environment how uh, buildings function, how cities function, how governance functions, how uh, people design their lives in uh, the whole holistic approach. How, what do you want out of life? How is that accomplished? Can you do it in ways that don't steal from the future in terms of natural resources or energy flows or things like that? So, in the process uh, of exploration of this, there's been this 72-hour orientation that's the permaculture design curriculum. Uh, and so the, the, that's the essential introduction to the course. So if you think about it, everyone is the designer of their own life. And the, the permaculture process is essentially something you can apply to say, what do I want out of life? What's, the, what's my holistic goal? Uh, well, I want to be happy. I would like to have relationships. I would like to have um, a certain amount of comfort and security in old age and children or whatever. And so based on that, you can say, well, how can I design that in a way that um, is a, a, cur a spiral of improvement, that it's constantly feeding back on itself to make the process easier for me? And, so, and also allows a certain amount of flexibility or changes in, in midlife. Uh, and so you begin to think about designing your home, designing your, your workspace or your business, designing your income flows so that they are in, in a sense cultivated ecologies. They're mirroring the ways that nature does things. Uh, resiliency, uh, stacking of functions so that many things feed in on the same process. Uh, and you begin to have uh, the sense of um, the system sort of Taking, nature taking, a lot, taking it on and doing the, the heavy lifting after a while. And you are fitting in and making little tweaking pilot changes from time to time. Uh, but that's permaculture. And as we begin to expand the number of permaculturists, and now there are hundreds of thousands in the world, the, the course is offered virtually every country, uh, you begin to get feedback from those instructors and from those experimental designers and the work that they're doing. And that also adds to the body of knowledge. Oh, well, this system actually worked pretty good in this context. And, and others might try improvisation on that system. Uh, and in this one over here, we had this failure, and we attribute it to this, and this, and this. So nowadays, there are convergences. I went to one earlier this year in Brazil, where there is um, a, a, a conference of several days where sort of papers are presented and slideshows are given of different things around the world. And then there's a meeting of, of permaculturists to sort of work through and talk to each other and, and, and discuss their, their successes and their failures. This is actually something that could help every, every aspect of our lives. It's not just something for gardening or for uh, building eco-villages.